She also got uh, a oh. neurological disorder um, called canine vestibular disease. So she had to stay here for a lot longer while she recovered from that. What happened was she she came at the very end of the winter with me, so she stayed all winter by herself. I could tell she used to be a mom because her teats were bigger, you know, when a, when a mm-hmm. dog's had puppies once mm-hmm. in their life. So I knew she had been a mom at some point. We received three fox kits from three different locations all over the state of Massachusetts. Each one came from a different mom. Each one came from a different location. We're trying to raise them. Like I was saying before, they do better when they have members of their own kind. Um, we end, I was afraid to introduce her to the kits because she's she can kill a full-grown rabbit in like seconds. She's, she's you know she she knows what she's doing, and if she decided to kill the kits, it would be very quick. But I had them in cages beside each other, and she was trying to get to them, and they were trying desperately to get to her. So I introduced them. At first, I put a muzzle on her, and I introduced them, and she showed no aggression, no growling. And so when I took the muzzle off, I was like, oh my God, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Right. This could be beautiful, yeah, right. or it could be a disaster. <laughs> uh, it ended up being beautiful, thank God. So she raised all three kits, so they're oh. all under there. Um, I took a picture of them recently, but she raised them all. They have perfect fear of humans. Um, and, uh, and, and she's oh. a fear of them. We just, yeah. we just bring That's it, the and mother, and right? Or the, oh, the... So this is them at the beginning. Hi. Did you guys see the movie The Talented Mr. Fox? No. Oh, it's like a claymation uh, film, but it's like a Is that a, oh, a Wes Anderson yeah. film? Yeah. Yes. You I got it. That's no, oh. great. Oh. They, they had the fox. Well, the kids are all hiding. Yeah, and then, one of them just yeah, ran yeah, under there. Just oh. so I oh. yeah. oh. so there was one. So that's a good one because I, when I was looking at the beaver stuff, it was reminding me of that because the beavers were like accountants in that movie. Hi. We're talking to television folks. No, it's cool. It's like a children's book. Uh. Oh, I love it. It's a good one. You'd love it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It brings all your animals together. Aww. Yeah, totally. Um, they're scheduled for release next week. Oh, wow. they, they all are? Next week? Uh, you've had them so, so long. So I, I think I might, so Hope was found in Andover. I think I might release her back there because she, she didn't uh, have any rat poison either. So uh, I'm going to talk to the ACO there. But I'm supposed to release within five miles of our facility or five miles of where they were found. Oh, okay. uh, I was going to ask that question. Yeah, I was wonder yeah. where they went. So legally, yeah. but by mass wildlife rules. So the issue that I ran into was one of my neighbors thought I released oh. all my raccoons here, which I don't because I take care of 40 or 50 of them a year, and this place would be overrun. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, I yeah, never yeah. release in the same area twice because I don't want to overpopulate an area. So, so I had some, some raccoons killed her chickens, and I think she was emotional upset about it. She thought they came from here. Oh. Um, so oh. that's kind of what spawned the whole thing. But it, I think. Have ever it, try to come here, no, I, no. Um, sometimes I think before when I've released raccoons, as we're leaving, we might have one try and follow us back, and so we know it needs more time. But because they're released far away from here, I don't. No, I've never had one come back here. Not raccoons. No. Have we a possum during mating season once. Oh, <laughs> we did have some boys come back for some girls. We did. Just one. <laughs> Guys be smelling around the cages, <laughs> yeah, doing their thing, yeah. Boys. Well, this has been great. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank you guys thank for, you for coming opening out. your doors Absolutely. to the great work you guys are doing. This Absolutely. Is, and let us know how we can be helpful. The rat poison thing, man, please. Yeah, yeah. if we can totally. do anything, yeah. Uh, with the town, I feel like we did good with getting a lot of the community reached out, let them know how important that we are the community and uh, and meeting with them and talking to them. I think they want to work with us so. Hopefully the appeals will go well, but I think the rat poison thing with the state of Massachusetts is just, there's so many that I can't save, there's so much suffering that I see that like if we could work on that, um, I think it'd be really good. I think it actually would help our rat population also, because I think in killing the animals that eat the rats, we're causing a bigger issue anyway. So, um, And let us know also um, your future plans. I know there's a lot of steps, but... Um, you got a lot of money? Well... I mean... Like three hundred. I don't. Uh, he does. Uh, no, no. But I'm saying you should, you should, you should, you should when things are starting moving forward, please yeah. reach keep out. in contact with us. Okay. We would like to be helpful in some way. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's really nice to meet course. you. Thank you guys for coming out. Of course. Of course. Thank you guys for coming out. Side, a big part of what we do is kind of liaise between 
a constituent who has an issue with the state agency. And oh, really? So if there is, if does something does come up, and okay. Reach out. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you guys well, great. so much. Well, guys, thank you, enjoy, Jane. Enjoy the last days of summer here, right? Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Thank you're you, Jane. Floor. You can actually, it's if you don't want to have to walk oh, yeah, all yeah. the way through, you're right out here. I'm going to go home and buy our traffic. Thank you, John. It's John, John, right? You got it, John. And yeah, you know about Tom Cristiano? Yeah, yeah. You see me on you, Facebook? Tom, of course. Oh, yeah. good, good. Yeah, we've met at a couple right. of...